his success, he was uh, cut down by a disease, a very dreaded disease, cancer. You know, it, uh, he was in denial for a couple of months. But with his, because of his strength, or his determination, he opposed to a toll on him. His face changed. Went through chemotherapy. But he was able to come through out of it. He was able to come out of it. And the, but the doctor gave only three months to live. And since I go into the story, he said, uh, and this is the time when he met Christ. He said, and somebody introduced him. He said, I will introduce you. I'm, 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 I, I, yeah. God, God will be with you, and you will be will pray together. He said, "Oh, you God." Then he said, "Why do not? Okay, if you, if God if it's it's so powerful, if you can cure me of this cancer, I will immediately accept God." So, as the months went by, went by into years, nothing happened. He did not die, so he accepted Christ. He said, "There was a time he accepted Christ," and by and by. It has been, um, fast forward, it has been about 16 years from the day he had this. 16 years, 16 years. Against all odds, he overcame everything and beat it all. Now, but, but he, has, um, he has lived for 16 years. A new lease of life was given to him until 16 years, until last uh, Saturday, 14. January 2007, when God decided to take him home and accept him. He put the uh, last quote I would put is NIV 2 Timothy 4.7. I have fought a good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Rest in peace, my brother. We shall meet again on that beautiful show. Amen. 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 Uh, 谢谢